Hey guys, today I'm going to make my Christmas video. I make one a year, and this time I'm just going to no uh, photos, although I have plenty of good photos. And just talk about my life and talk about magic. I know some of you enjoy this. Um, so I made a, a job change. So I was previously, I've been working at that place of employment for two and a half years. And it was a great, I had a great experience there. I had um, really good friends. Uh, we ate out every single lunch together and I enjoyed my coworkers immensely. And I was a, a marketing agency, uh, but the time came when I felt that I wanted, you know, you wanted a little bit more. So I'm also a developer. Right now it's like 5 a.m. I just finished a code sprint with my team in India. I have a team in Russia as well and obviously in Houston. So I felt like I wanted to see how far I could personally go. And that's why I now own an agency. And a lot of you might ask, you know, why is or the video quality is so low if you own a marketing agency. It's kind of like this. If you, let's say you go to, uh, I used to be in high school, I worked as a salad bar manager at Gennardi's up, up in Pennsylvania, and I couldn't eat salad anymore because I was working there after school and it just, so if you're doing something for a job, you don't really want to come home and do it for a hobby. So my hobby is mainly to make not like high quality magic videos, just magic videos that I feel like I want to make and that's fun for me to make. So if it stops being fun, I'm going to stop treating doing it because this is a hobby. Uh, as it's been emphasized over and over again by larger channels, I could care less about this fact, but you're not making that much money in it. And if you're in it to make money, I'm sorry, you're not, unless you're like the top one of top 10 channels on YouTube, you're just, for magic, there's not enough people for you to make money from the ad revenue. I, I turned on ad revenue just this year on, I think in May sometime. And I turned it on as a response to like, people saying like, I had it already, which I didn't. And I never had it for the new law student channel. And that had more, I had at that time way more views than this channel did during its life cycle. But yeah, I mean, I treat this channel as a hobby and it will always be one of my favorite hobbies because I get to interact with you. I'm very grateful. I've met so many amazing artists and so many amazing people and it's uh, really cool. Uh, the Patreon has also been extremely helpful because I, again, I will say this a million times, I don't make money from my Patreon. I send all my Patreons I, you know, itemized where we did we spend our money and every month we lose money. We lose money every single month. We have never made money from Patreon except for, for the first month where someone donated $8 and I didn't realize what was happening until it hit my PayPal. And that's been really nice because I've been able to, and the Magic Duels has been really nice because I've been able to play some of you guys on Magic Duels um, or I will be able to, I hope to be able to. And that's why I'm putting my money behind that. I'm, you know, paying, paying for a freemium game, which is something that I am not happy to do. But hey, I guess it's better than Magic Online, right? So I think my goals next year are to make the channel a little bit better. Um, I obviously have people who work at said agency who can help me edit the videos and do stuff like that if I ask them to. But I've never. Ask them to. I, at my old agency, where I before I left, I had a full time. We had a full time videographer, and you know, I asked her to make it one video, and she didn't do it. And then I was like, okay, you know, I'm not going to put pressure on her anymore. I think that was wrong for me to ask her to even make that one video. Uh, it was actually a contest video, so you guys never got that contest until like later on. I don't know what the contest was, but see, I gave her the fat packs, and she was going to make a video about the contest. Uh, and then a month later, it never, I had to run like a different contest. And then a month later, like I just asked for the fat packs back. And I realized that was, so at that time I was like, oh, well, all friends here, she'll be able to help me. Uh, but at that time, uh, now I realized that that was very, like very bad of me. Cause like, hey, you know, spend your off time and make this video for me coming from like upper management doesn't always look good. Um, 
So I, I've never asked any of my employees to help me on this channel. I've never, I never would. Now, if I had one person who was interested, then I would say, okay, yeah, let's try it together. Uh, the GF. So the big difference I think next year will be the girlfriend is playing magic. Um, she does watch more anime than me. So for those people who said that that's not true, I don't watch much anime. Half the stuff I purchased, like you guys clearly, I, like I don't ever watch the show. I just watched Fate Stay Night. Um, no, the new one, yeah, Fate Stay Night uh, with Saber and Ryan. And, but I had the Alters commissioned before I watched it. And the only reason I watched it was because I was like, oh, are these the main characters or are they side characters? And that's all I wanted to figure out. And I, I, I mean, I figured out they were the main characters. Uh, our Saber was the main character of the other one. And Ryan was the main character of this one. So then they like colluded, I guess. So I don't watch that much anime, but she does watch a ton of anime. Um, she's really into fashion and stuff like that. <coughs> and yeah, um, so maybe if she plays more magic, she'll feel more comfortable. Right now she is not comfortable making videos because she doesn't know enough. And you guys grill me all the time about like mispronunciations or when I say, say that like exalted and I mean renowned and stuff like that. So. Uh, she's re she reads some of these comments and she's like, wow, like I don't want to do that because I don't know enough about magic. But eventually, like she's playing uh, draft right now in the EDH, but eventually she'll, I guess, come to her own in uh, comfort level. Uh, once her comfort level is a little higher, so we'll be able to make some simple videos, uh, some contest videos. Like she doesn't want to make, so the... I think there's a level of uh, knowledge that you need to make your any magic video. And a lot, I think when I look at the one video that my sister made on the channel, and she does have a magic collection and she does have legacy decks. I mean, that's honest truth. And I'm gonna see her over the uh, break and we will play magic. And she has a legacy deck. Uh, I, I obviously have it at home with me because uh, I, but it's part of, it's the collection that she had, that she gave me, and I'm holding for her. And a lot of people were very critical of her because she doesn't play Magic that often, and she doesn't even know the old cards she has are valuable. Because back when we played, they were not valuable. Underground C, like, what is that? Like, she's like, oh, this is like, like, imagine someone playing Magic once or twice a year, but having played it when she was a lot younger, and now... You know, like there's no way that person would realize underground C is like $250, right? Like even if you told that person, they would be like, nah, <laughs> like, right? <laughs> like, so then that video, like, I don't know, like, so the GF will probably next year, I don't, cannot guarantee you what time, but I can guarantee you sometime will be helping me on the channel because it is very crazy to like make videos at 5 a.m. in the morning by yourself. You just sound like a crazy person, right? Like. So she'll be able to help uh, make, she'll make some videos. I think she'll do some, um, best case scenario, she opens a case of Oath of the Gate Watch. Worst case scenario, she opens a case of Innistrad. Um, that's the timeline I have kind of set up. And I think she likes magic, she likes magic a lot. Uh, she likes the altars from Faye, and she likes the um, des designs from Paige. So, yeah, and that's actually what she enjoys most about it. So we will see like what type of videos she can make, if she makes videos at all. But I, that's something I want to say to you guys that if um, no, you, you really do want to encourage other people to make videos and like it is tough to make them because mistakes I can make, I just eat it. Because if I say renowned, I'm, if I say exalted, I mean renowned. That I know because I already know the game Magic, but imagine if someone doesn't know the difference and now people are like chatting away, right? Or, or the, 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 uh, the, uh, Innist uh, the Innistrad, what was that, demon dude? No, Geist, it was Geist. Yeah, I didn't realize it was a, you know, it, it was in this packet which said Mythics of for uh, Oath of the Gate Watch. Like, I didn't look at the symbol. Obviously, now I know like what it is. That's the dual deck, and Geist is in a dual deck, which is pretty good value, actually, for 20 bucks. But at the time, like, how would I know that? Like, well, no, I could have paid more 
close attention, but when I'm going through the, you know, just a once over, it's hard for me to know. So imagine someone who doesn't have that knowledge, uh, even my knowledge about it, and then they get comments and it's just like, blah, 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 right? It can be a lot, especially if they've never made a YouTube video before. So look forward to that. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, and happy holidays. And I'll see you guys. Um, I'll probably make a video. I have some Magic Duel videos for like Saturday, Sunday. Uh, but I'll probably be making videos just the whole time. Bye.